My name is Todd Richmond, and I'm director of the Tekken Narrative Lab and faculty at Party Rand Graduate School. I was born and raised in San Diego, California, actually third generation San Diegan. When I was a kid, I bounced back and forth between wanting to be a professional athlete in a variety of sports or a musician, uh, but at some point reality set in and I went into science. Well, I dropped out of a couple of places and spent four years trying to make it as a guitarist in a rock band. But when I went back to school, started at the University of San Diego, entered as a music major, graduated with a degree in chemistry, got my PhD in chemistry from Caltech, did a postdoc at UC San Francisco, and then went on to be uh, a professor at the Claremont Colleges in Claremont, doing chemistry. My most interesting job would be uh, all of them. Uh, during the last years, I climbed telephone poles as a cable TV installer, uh, worked on an assembly line making graphite racquetball rackets, uh, and was a DJ at a commercial FM broadcast radio station. Uh, then in college, I tutored and uh, delivered singing telegrams. And then over the last 10 years, I've actually uh, been a bassist, uh, done over 700 gigs. My interest in technology started at a pretty young age. I remember in the garage, we had a tube Philco radio that got shortwave bands. And while my dad was working on stuff in the garage, I would uh, spin around the bands and see what I could hear. Uh, then it was into computers and then audio and video. And uh, boy, it, since then, it's been a nonstop cavalcade of technology. I saw all these amazing, cool things that were being made. And I was also seeing that some of the outcomes were not so cool. So, uh, you know, technologists are great at making technology, but that has to be contextualized into the broader public sphere and society. And so that's where policy comes in. I'd love to say in 10 years we'll have solved all the problems we're working on, but I think that we're working on things that are really fundamental at this intersection between the human experience, which is profoundly analog, and the digital experience, which is increasingly virtual. And as these two worlds collide and form this complex emulsion, figuring out what the technology is going to be good for and how humans are going to adapt and make use of it, that's a problem that we will be working on for as long as humans and technology exist on this planet.